Hi and welcome to another Polywork support video. Today's topic will be showing you how we can add floating keys to your server and how we can access those licenses. There are two types of floating keys available. There are USB dongle based floating keys and there are CPU locked floating keys. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download the license server for Polyworks Maturity Suite. This can be found within the technical support zone. A video in the description will show you how to access this. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and jump into your server and install the license server. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch the license manager. And if you have a CPU locked license, go ahead, copy this FlexNet host ID information. Alternatively, click on the copy to clipboard. If you have a USB dongle based license, go ahead and tick on the I have a USB dongle. And again, copy this information or copy to clipboard. If you can then paste this information into an email and forward it onto our support team, hopefully within 48 hours, we should email you back your new floating license key, which should sim look similar to this. Within this email, you can simply click on this button here to download the license key. Alternatively, if you don't have access to the internet, you can simply copy and paste this text information here within the key code section into a simple text document and renaming the text document as a .lic file. This is very similar to what I showed in the previous video, showing people how to add node lock license keys. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and click here. This will download the license key, which can be found in my downloads folder. And I'm going to open up the text document or the LIC file and double check that the server name at the top here is correct. If it isn't, I'll have to rename this and type in the correct name for my server. In this case, I will need to rename mine. I'm going to then save this. And I'm going to copy this onto my server. Once I've copied it over within the license manager again, further below, I can simply import the license key file, which in this case, I've just copied onto my desktop, Polarworks license server there. And you'll get prompted with this message asking you to start the server. I'll say yes. That should load the license key, activate the licenses, and they should now be available for people to use. In order to start using the licenses, what we need to do here is go into a machine with Polyworks installed. Within the Workspace Manager, go ahead and jump into the Polyworks License Manager and jump into the Floating Keys Client tab. Right at the top here, we need to type in at and then the name of your server. Apply. That will browse onto the server and simply find the relevant license keys available to you. If you have multiple servers, servers with multiple licenses, you can use the semicolon in there to add additional server names if necessary. To start using the, uh, a license, all we need to do here is simply launch the modules. Within the Workspace Manager, we can click on either the Polyworks Inspector module or the Modeler module, depending on which licenses you have access to. This will automatically retrieve a license from the server and allow you to start using Polyworks, assuming that you have enough licenses available. If you need to use Polyworks away from the network and you can't connect to your server remotely, you can request the ability to enable the borrow functionality by simply contacting us via telephone or email. At which point we'll then email you back a new license key, which you'll need to reinstall like we did earlier in the video. Once installed, go back into your machine, jump back into your Polyworks Workspace Manager, and we can go back into your Polyworks License Manager tool. Jump into the Floating Keys Client tab again, and we can then select the relevant modules that we wish to borrow. At which point, click on the borrow button and then pick a date that you wish to return the license key by. In this case, I'm going to choose next week, but you can choose a date 
up to roughly five months ahead. Once I borrow that, you can now see we have our license modules. You can see they're checked out by myself until this given date, at which point I can then close this. I can disconnect myself from the server and I can still continue using those two modules away from the network. You can either let it expire and it'll automatically deactivate itself on your computer and reactivate itself on the server, or you can manually return the license by going into the license key manager tool again, go into your floating keys client tab again, but this time jumping into the borrow tab here. You'll have a list of modules you've borrowed, at which point select the module you wish to return and simply click on the return button. That will release that license so anyone else can then start using that particular module if they wish. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the content useful. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or if there are any particular videos you'd like us to produce, please comment below or contact us direct via our website or via our social media handles.